Now you gotta be careful here because these are still warm, as you can tell. Okay, I don't know if you can see that steam there, but you gotta be careful. All right, now you can get use small red potatoes. I got these larger ones, okay? And we're just gonna cut these up now. We'll cut them up in different, different shapes, different sizes, just like all of us, right? We're all different shapes and sizes. We're just gonna cut these up, and I'm gonna take my time, okay? If you don't, if you don't like it, there's a fast forward button there. You can fast forward this if you don't like seeing me cut and listen to me talk and jabber. Well, <laughs> neither does my wife, so <laughs> I understand that. So there you go. All right, I'm putting these in there now. As you can see, some of them might have gotten a little too too done, so because we want them nice and clean like this, right? Nice and clean. All right. Here we go, we're not done yet, we got plenty here. What we're gonna make today, which is something you're probably not that familiar with, I, I know some of you, we're gonna be making a potato salad, but we're gonna be making it without, I say that again, a pota potato salad without mayo. I know, I know some of you are like, Paul, that is a sin. And uh, well, there, that, you're probably right. <laughs> okay now, here we go. Almost done here. Look at that there. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that clickety clack, but Mr. Hobbs is over there, and he'll be having some of this probably in a little bit, because it's not gonna have no mayo in it. Well now, that's just right up his alley. Okay, now we're gonna take all this potato here. Okay, we're gonna put it in my favorite dish. Okay, take a look at that, dear. I love this. I love making it, and especially in the summertime. Now, you see all that in there? That looks amazing, right? Now, right here, okay, I got myself some vinegar, okay? Some white wine vinegar. Now, I'm going to take three tablespoons here. I'm just going to, as this cools, we're going to put this on here. We want to make sure that this, this is absorbed as it cools, because it's a very important step. Okay, we're gonna let it cool a little bit, and I'll see you in a minute. And we're gonna take a half a cup of olive oil. I like to use extra virgin. Okay, get that in there, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna put the remainder, because we're gonna do five total, right? So I'm gonna put another two tablespoons in here of vinegar, white wine, vinegar there you go okay and now we're only going to do like a half a teaspoon or maybe even a teaspoon of this dijon mustard but i'm telling oh hello maybe i should do this for a second okay come on dijon don't make me look bad well, you're definitely making me look bad because that there we go all right now here we go right here i got a little salt Pink Himalayan salt. If you know a better salt out there, you let me know in the comments because I think it's the best. And we got some pepper, as you know. Okay, so we got that there. Now, we're just gonna mix this together. Okay, we're gonna mix that oil and the vinegar and the Dijon mustard. We'll really mix that up because this is gonna be serving as our dressing here, okay? And we're gonna see how we're gonna add that in and then we're gonna do something special. Now I'm starting off with this red onion here. I found it in the back of the refrigerator. Do you think red onion goes bad? Cause I mean, you take a look at that there. That's, that's not the prettiest red onion I've ever seen, but we got this back here and I don't know if I peel it off. What do they say about layers of the onion? You know, the, the more layers you peel, the more you cry. I, I don't know, is that true? Or maybe that's just my social life or my, my my emotional life there. So we just got a small one here. Now that's looking good to me. Look at that there. Look at all those rings. It's like one of those big trees outside my daddy's on his farm. He's got one of those big trees that has all these rings. I love it. Okay, now let me slice these up. Okay, look at that there. Some of these I'm gonna keep like this. Okay, I'm just gonna do halves. Well, maybe I'll do thirdsies. Is that a saying? Thirdsies? I don't think so. All right, take a look at that there. All right, I'm really excited about that. I went foursies on that one. Okay, now, I've got some other things here we're gonna 
get together here we got some basil okay now if you don't like basil i think you need to go see the doctor because basil is just downright amazing and i'm just gonna fold it together here now my wife taught me this oh she's looking at me saying that's not the way she taught me honey this is the way you taught me look at that see i'm just just doing it just like that that's the way you taught me <laughs> oh the look she's giving me oh my goodness that's okay we we'll get cut this up. I don't know. Fresh basil, it's amazing. And with pesto, I'm telling you right now, y'all, you're missing out if you don't like basil. Also, dill. I love my dill here. Okay, it's a big dill in my family. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, dill is going to make this. So we're just going to try to see if you want, you can try to just kind of peel them off just like that right we got the dill there and just try to try to get it off there okay just pull it off or if you want you can do it like this hold it together just like this i know some of you have already changed the channel <laughs> you're like hey i do not need to see some man not know how to make to cut dill i'm just having some fun here y'all hopefully you're having a good day and having fun with me a good day to be alive all right there we go now we got all this here right we got our basil we got our red onion we got our dill over here guess where that's going we'll show you in a second look at that dressing there guess where all that's going you know it's going right on top of there oh my look at that there oh yes right on top mm, that looks amazing right there no mayo folks no mayo and I know that's a sin for some of y'all because you love your mayo. Now here, we're gonna put in a bunch of this, okay? A bunch of this red onion there. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Okay, maybe too much onion for you, but I love my onion, y'all, okay? And you might, listen, you might think this is too thick. You might want it sliced even smaller. Well, you feel free to let me know in the comments what you like there. Now I got my basil here, okay? Putting that in there. What else do I got? Got my dill. Okay, I got that all there. Okay, now let's let's get in here. Let's mix this together. Ooh, I love those colors. The green really pops. The green pops, the, the dill. Look at that there, y'all. This is a winner already. I know it is. I can, I can smell it. If you were in my kitchen right now, you'd be like, Paul, that smells amazing. I must have some right now. And guess what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some right now. Put it right in here, okay? It'll take me a minute, but I got it there. Okay, come on up here with me, okay? Hello, how are you? It's nice to see you. I hope you're having a good day. I'm gonna try this. It's delicious. I know it, I can smell it. It smells delicious, and without that mayo there, it's a whole different world, y'all. Here we go, here we go. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's so much flavor. Take a look. You gotta try this.